How's it going, everybody? So, I recently got this game on sale, and it is, I guess, complete because they're episodic, and all the episodes are here, so I was like, let's try this out. The Council. I'm a big fan of narrative storytelling kind of games, so, uh, yeah, let's give this one a go. Not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Burchard. Von Burchard. Hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this, trust me. Oh, I'm playing. Oh, is it timed? I don't think it is. Okay, just in case it is, I'm going to rest it here. But anyways, really interesting start so far. I'm really kind of digging the art style. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. <laughs> I mean, um, I feel like we should trust our mom. Seems like she knows what she's doing. Uh, let's go ahead and trust mom. Please, be my guest, mother. Mm. Ah. Well, that was easy. <laughs> well, she has a gun, a flintlock, so I mean... Ah. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm, means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No, even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. 
Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchard. Interesting. I will say, though, that the dialogue, or at least the delivery, is a little stiff for me. You know, coming from a guy who has zero experience from voiceover work, but it does sound a little stiff. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to put too much harsh judgment. I feel like I'm, I'm trying to be open a lot. I'm trying to be open more with uh, narrative-style games. You know, not everything's going to be Chaucer's Canterbury Tales or anything like that, but... Yeah, I want to be much more open with this. Aside from that, though, I, I do like the start. I do like the start. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchett's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. <laughs> and you, good sir, what brings you here? Okay, is this timed? All right, it's not time. To... Um, sorry, I just thought, what's our main character's name? I don't know our main character's name. So his mom is what, like a detective adventurer person? And he is just a guy who looks for his mom? I guess we'll soon see. And you, sir, what brings you here? Business with Lord Mortimer, personal reason. Both are true. Um, and Lord Mortimer was the last person to be with his mom, or his mom was investigating Lord Mortimer, personal reason. I, I giggled because... Uh, Maybe I'll make it in the edit, but he's like looking at her. He's looking at her assets is is what uh, is why I chuckled. I mean, even if it wasn't designed that way, it did seem like his character was. Okay, personal reasons. Your Eminence, with all due respect, I prefer to keep my reasons for coming here to myself. I promise it has nothing to do with the legendary party that you all appear to be preparing for. I believe what you will, my son. However, everything is related to the legendary parties organized by our host. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that, Cardinal. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Hmm. I feel like we should deflect here, but I don't know. I didn't realize he'd be that aggressive. Like when he said personal reasons, like, oh, mind your own business. I'm just doing my own thing. Um, I didn't think he'd be that aggressive, so. Let's just say, should we comply and just say absolutely? I'm going to go with... Okay, let's be more open. Maybe we can learn more about this Lord Mortimer if we are. That's right. Until now, I've never been invited by Lord Mortimer. You'll see. You won't soon forget it. Given what I've seen so far, I wish I'd been passed over. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. 
I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Wait, you're French? <clears throat> you have like Are a... you right? You sound more co uh, Colorado than, <laughs> than French. You sound like you're from Missouri. Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother! No! Don't! Don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay me. You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. Wait, so does he have, like, premonitions and then he believes those premonitions to be true? I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Whoa, this is a little... Sorry, it's controls are... Okay, so right... Right-clicking is running? Holding right-click is the sprint? Okay. Um... Oh, okay. There's a thing here. A Byzant from the Byzantine Empire. A coin often used during the St. Louis era. Okay. Can I check that? Like, is there an item? Or... Go up to the manor is what it's telling me to do. Certainly. But, like, every completionist, you have to... Circle around everything first. Moving's a little stiff, so apologize for the strange camera angles here. Okay, so there's this. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Your class. Uh, the diplomat shines in society, a talented speaker. He avoids faux pas, and he can, or faux pas, and he can convince those with whom he's talking to, who is talking w without offending them. <laughs> convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is field of predilection. The occultist, the occult is a master of deception, convinced of the importance of knowledge. He has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using those, using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. Detective. Detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail as well as in people he questions. As a hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. Choose a class Choosing a class defines your basic skills. The other skills will be available, but unlocking them will be more expensive. Interest. Well, questioning, vigilance, psychology, or logic. And then you got manipulation, occultism, eruditation, sciences and subterfuge, politics, etiquette, etiquette, linguistics, conviction, and diversion. Hmm. 
what to choose. I think we're gonna go detective. <laughs> um, like like mother, like son. I think detective unlocks the questioning, vigilance, and logic, psychology, and agility skills. You know, ha you now have seven effort points to use your skills. Your past granted you plus, oh, or your past granted you one skill point in manipulation, and one skill point in psychology. Okay. So, what? What do I do? Remove all points is escape. And to validate a space. Um, how many do I have to spend? Use logic. Use your logical mind and oratorical talents. Oh, I just spent something. Well, where's, where's this? Oh, right there. Available points. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's... Let's do that. Or, okay. Let's do psychology, because I'm already almost done with it. And then what? Does, would this cost two points? Is that why? Oh, so I can go into it. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. I kind of like that. I, I want to go with diversion. I want to go with vigilance and psychology at two. Oh, you can remove points with a right click. Okay, got it. All right, so how do we validate? We hold space. Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases, like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? What? No, I... I mean, I'm sure Louis does. But as the audience member, I have no clue. I clicked prologue, didn't I? Uh, not at all. Sorry. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. <laughs> I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Okay. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please, stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Um, opportunities or skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggested, suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. To access the skills required for the situation, you just need to have unlocked it. Okay. Uh, I don't know what effort points are. Oh, validate. Is that what that means? I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goal skills. Personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you an effort point back. Review immunities and vulnerabilities the journal tab in the journal tab in the menu. Immunity revealed, vulnerability revealed. Push back to access your menu pages, okay? Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily. But you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. 
You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock, to review their unlock conditions and effects. They offer very, as they offer very, very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the dedicated tab in the menu. Okay, so you get points in order to decipher their stuff. So backspace was to, okay. Whoa, enter does this. Inventory. The art of knowing people by their sizeonomy, sizeonomy, sizeonomy. A method by method by which to analyze individuals based on their physical appearance, notably their facial characteristics. Plus, okay, so this is, I guess, an item that I could pick up, or that I have picked up, or that I've gained to give me a skill point bonus. Emily's handkerchief. Where was she keeping that? You wonder. Mortimer's invitation. Dear Monsieur de Rocher. I am writing to express my embarrassment regarding the situation in which I find myself. As you probably know, I had invited your mother, Sarah de Roche, to join me on an island several weeks ago. We had projects in common regarding your order. Her stay was going smoothly until yesterday when your mother suddenly disappeared. I do not want her to worry... To wor I don't want to over-worry you, but I would like you to join me as soon as possible so we can shed some light in this mystery. Please accept, sir, the expression of my highest consideration. Yours sincerely, Lord Mortimer Marquois of Westfordshire. Interest. Oh, okay, okay, these are these are them. These are the people I've met. Okay, so Hillsborough Emily. Um English Duchess, close to the English crown, very discreet about her origin, immunity. She's immune? Wait, she's- her immunity is logic? Like she's immune to logic? Okay. So manipulation maybe would be a good way to counter that? I don't know. Anyways, Emily Hillsborough is an English duchess, close to the English crown, very discreet about her origins. Emily only came onto the political scene after her wedding that some qualified as a marriage of interest to an old English aristocrat on the decline. Libertarian modern but discreet she has taken it upon herself to establish close ties with her peers in a few years she has become the favorite diplomat of the queen which is what probably prompted her prime minister william pitt to take her as a private secretary thus provoking much suspicion and jealousy as a regular visitor emily accepted sir gregory holmes invitation to come to lord mortimer's island because for nothing in the world she would miss one of these famed receptions i guess lord mortimer guy is yeah, but our guy, De Roche, Louis, he believes in his premonitions to be true, like there's these foreshadowing things. I guess that's his ability, I suppose. Okay, all right. He's psychic then. The only son of Sarah, Louis Moraz De Roche, is a young Parisianist. Oh, he's so he is Parisian. So why does he sound like he's from Kentucky? Why does it sound like he's from... You know, the, the, the D.C. area. <laughs> Why does he sound like he's from NorCal? You know, over on uh, Humboldt. Why does he sound like he's a college student from Humboldt? He's Parisian? Could have fooled me. Ever since he was a young child, Louis moved in, in his mother's circles. And so it was natural that on his 14th birthday, he entered the Golden Order, the secret society headed by Sarah. So her, his mother is ahead of this of the secret society precarious preco pre precocious Lu uh, louis progressed quickly at her side despite the daily treatment of uh, treatment his mother prescribed prescribed for his chronic migraines okay he climbed the ladder until he was able to assist his mother in the occult cases so of the order and then they investigate occult cases he's a part of that he climbed the ladder until he was able to assist his mother in the occult cases for which he was particularly talented. As time went by, he became shaped in the image that his mother had held for him. So she became, he became, you know, whatever she wanted him to be. Everything pointed to one day, young Louis becoming the head of the Golden Order, whatever that means. Uh, it probably involves a mask, like in that Tom Cruise movie. Biagi Giuseppe. To be discovered. What does that mean? Immunity. Oh, okay. Like more things to be discovered. 
His Eminence, the Cardinal Giuseppe Piaggi, uh, is a legate. Also, apologies if I am butchering all these names and stuff like that. I am sincerely, sincerely at fault, and I apologize for me even attempting these names. But anyways. A distinguished speaker, Giuseppe Piaggi, worked throughout his career to serve the principles of the Roman Catholic Church. A man of science and amateur philosopher, he quickly caught the ear of the Pope who discreetly named him Cardinal in Pector. He was thus able to use his relationship of trust to help Pius VI in his difficult mission of his gu mission of guiding the faithful. Invited by Sir Gregory Home, Piaggi, or Piaggi, it's, I think it's two G's is G, right? I don't know. I don't know. Is delighted to meet his old friend Mortimer in order to represent the interests of the Holy See. I'll keep my ear out if they say his last name. Or if they had said it and I didn't pay attention. My bad. All right. Derache Sarah. Uh, Sarah uh, Faustine Derache is a rich French aristocrat. Although she sounds like she's from North Missouri. Like she's from the Denver area. Um... Faustine, interesting choice there. Okay, 34 years ago, Sarah took over one of the most important secret societies, the Golden Order. A woman of strong will, Sarah endeavored to infiltrate the highest circles of society, politics, trade transactions, secrets of states or paranormal spheres. The Order had an eye over everything. One of the biggest areas of growth that Sarah brought to the Order was the development of its branches in America, Europe, and Central Africa, not to mention the expansion of her occult section, which she took care of personally. Since he was just a boy, Sarah has been preparing her son Louis to become the new face of the Golden Order. Okay. Okay. That's starting to make more sense now, but I guess he has superpowers, though. Louis does. Or should I say Louis? His name is Louis, not Louis. He's not from France. He may be Parisian, but he was brought up in North Dakota. <laughs> I know. It's mean. Look, maybe the directors were like, don't give him a Parisian accent. Just don't do it. But a part of me is like, it's um, immersion broken. Immersion broken. Okay. Traits. Charismatic. Trusting. Detective. I guess the initial stages was me trying to get these skills. Anyways, let's move on. And we can pick up some items here. If there are any items to pick up. Oh. Royal Jelly. Restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. Okay, so these effort points will, I, I suspect... Oh, what just happened? Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. So they're like a detective kind of group that makes sure everything is... Okay, okay. Oh, where do I go? I go up here? If that is the case, I kind of want to... Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir, everyone is waiting for you at the manor. Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Who is Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please, rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed. We are searching the caves again, because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost of the effort points. Are, is that what's below down there? Is all, are those effort points? Uh oh, is this timed? Uh, this is timed. Let's try it. And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? 
broken barrels mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Huh, interesting. So, do these symbolize the skills that I have? I guess none of them really coincide. And I can't use this dialogue. I guess it's showing it to me even if I don't have it available. But, okay. And I have this one, so let me see the handkerchief. I'll take care of it, yeah. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please, And I... having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now. It is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. I do appreciate the social distancing and the wearing of the mask. It is indeed That's... your handkerchief, Mother. There is. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Maybe I go back. Let me... I'm just gonna... Run back real quick to see if there was... If there's a... There's stuff here. It's like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. I'll take it. Yeah, why not? This might just come in handy. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. All right, pick up. Royal jelly. I don't know what that is. What is that? Okay, iron bar, mother's handkerchief. What's this royal jelly? Is that something inappropriate that I'm going to have to blur out? What's this royal jelly? Oh, it's right here. Restores two effort points. Oh, okay. And it, so what? So what's this? Effort points. Ember fragments. When you collect four effort fragments, you gain an effort point. So, okay. Let's see what's hidden inside. Yeah. Does no one check their mail in this damn estate? Find a clue or examine one at a time. I suppose if I didn't have the logic. Okay, so here it is. All right. So I could do this to spend no effort points or do this to spend effort points, which I think is the better option. Ah. Uh. One of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I'd recognize your handwriting anywhere, Mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend, Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richet. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? Mm. Mm. 
I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But I just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Interesting. You know, diplomacy was one thing I, I thought I was gonna sh I should pick up, but I didn't. Did I gain a talent point? So how do I check this? Traits. Is there a way to check, like, your skills and stuff? No. Okay. Whatever. Uh, interesting. You know, Godoy and all their... Let's see what's hidden inside. Let's look. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. I have the slightest idea what it says. Uh, we prefer... Eastern? Kidding. Kidding. It's too badly written. I, I can't make out the address. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me. It's about time the order sent some envoys there. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. This name sounds familiar. Pash, Pash, Pash. No. Can't seem to place it. You know, it's weird that he doesn't remember anything. I mean, maybe it's just gameplay for gameplay reasons, but if this is the prologue, I'm kind of confused. Probably a Dutchman. Address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. I mean, I don't, I don't know if the intention is to confuse you in the prologue, but consider me confuzzled. Alrighty. Well, good thing I had that logic effort point thing spent. Because if I had rummaged through it... Well, actually, I don't know. If I had rummaged through it manually, would it still give me the option to... Um, pick out my mother's letter. Alright, it looks like I've checked everything here. I kind of want to go to this side of the dock, though. Um, good thing it's locked. Um, okay. Open gate. Locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Use the iron bar. Clearly, I'm not much for manual labor. Let's see if I can get it open another way. Agility level one, I don't have that. Difficulty two. So wait, what happens if you don't have this initially? Can you break it? Let's find out. Let's find out. There we are. So I guess you didn't need the trait? But I, I am down effort points. I, I, that's probably going to bite me, right? But then I could use the jelly, right? To, in fact, let's let's try this. Restore two effort points. Press one to use it. Okay. Okay. Did it work? Oh, you have to hold it. Say okay. I wonder if that's like super rare, and I'm just wasting them right now. But. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh-huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. Oh, bummer. Bummer. I wonder if I can go back to these. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of stuck. Alrighty. <laughs> Great. Honey. Royal jelly. Okay. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. 
and none of it's telling me anything useful. Uh, yeah, I think it took- Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly, too. I think it tells you a whole lot, don't you think? I mean, if your mother uses that same pistol to shoot you, Ember Fragments, uh, each time you pick up four of them, you can increase your maximum effort points by a van. A fragment of amber. Okay. I would have appreciated a more thorough walkthrough in terms of, like, in the moment instead of just reading it, you know? Sometimes practice, like, actual practicing in the moment can be much more promising than having to... A wooden floorboard. Question it. Question the floorboard. Judging by the splinters of the wood, this floorboard has been ripped up. Yet it was in decent condition. I wonder why someone ripped it up. What's the point of doing this? Um, it's probably there's probably something to it. Choice already made. It probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Uh, question it again. Choice already made. Uh, okay. Wow, so much more stuff. I'm gonna crack the code. Hey, there's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Yeah, rip it up, rip it up. Use rusty iron bar. Yeah, I mean, don't exhaust yourself. I don't have that many effort points. That does it. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? Maybe she went back home to Montana. Manuscripts allow, manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain a permanent skill point. Okay. Finding man, find your manuscripts by the inventory. Let's look inside the bag. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Hmm. Um, can we just have an examine all button? Take bag eventually is what we're gonna do. Some fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. Shit, those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume piece of soap, some oils, and her powder puff. What does all this mean? <laughs> He's so intent. He's staring in intently. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. And judging by its consistency, it's the same type of powder that I found earlier. This just gets better and better. Curious, where's the bacon? You said a bacon strip? You just take that with you to go? Where's the bacon strip? I'm gonna do that next time. Take a random bacon strip with me. An iron key completely rusted. Take, yeah, you're, no, let's leave the key in the bag and never know them. Come on, take the you key. No, it might be useful. I hope mother wasn't counting on it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. So I should probably have left the key for, for dear old ma. <laughs> it's just gonna be it's gonna be an emergency situation life and death. She's like, oh, but thankfully I have the key to get me out of here Ooh, And then there's no key. So now I'm thinking I Have the key, but I can also take the bag or I can leave the bag Right Shoot I mean if I took the key I might as well take the bag right No, I mean she might need the food and stuff and the gunpowder, but she doesn't have the key I have the key 
Let's leave it, I guess. Ugh, I shouldn't have taken the key. I feel bad now. I wish there's... See, there's no option to put key back, is there? I can't spend four extra effort points to put a key back, can I? All right, fine. Right, that's enough. Let's leave the bag. I think I better leave her bag here. If she hid all this, it's because she thought she might need it later. So, let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of the wharf in the middle of the night. That's not normal. And if that weren't enough, looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send out letters, reassuring whoever might be interested that she's having a fabulous time here. So odd. So very odd. <laughs> and that's not even all I've noticed. But maybe I ought to move on to the manor now. They'll be waiting for me. At least I hope so. Okay, so that's a narrative cue to let me know I, I can leave. Go look for clues or go to the manor. Interesting. Okay, so um, obviously the letters are to someone letting her know that she's in trouble. It's a sign. I mean, if, if you're going to send the letters out, you're not going to say, help me, help me. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, everything's great. By the way, if I say everything's great, send help. So <laughs> um, that's probably what that is. Latin inscription. Anesis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus regatur. Let's translate it. JK. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada de Riche, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Uh, what's happening? Confrontations. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Each confrontation displays an interface showing how much the person you are talking to is convinced okay so before we move on to this i'm gonna have to cut the episode out here uh there's a lot to edit and um then upload i have a i have like a really crappy internet speed so uploading this will take days maybe months so anyways <laughs> i better cut the episode here the next episode we'll do this confrontation i have no clue what that means but this game is fun so far how should I say? It has some sort of interface to allow you to change the story in terms of a gameplay mechanic rather than having something that you've discovered. For example, there'll be games and narrative games like An Until Dawn. You have to have first discovered something um, before you can introduce it to another character. Whereas in this game, it's, it's still that way. But you also have a point system which allows you to do stuff like, for example, this, confrontations. So I think that's really cool. Anyways, that'll be it for this episode. I'll see you all in the next one. Hopefully this doesn't take me forever to upload. Alrighty.